Another enthralling day in this series with honours finishing even. Mark Wood bowling thunderbolts for England. Mitchell Marsh responding with his best test match innings. A remarkable story for Marsh really called into the side to replace Cameron Green who went down with a minor hamstring strain after his efforts at Lords, And he's playing his first test in four years. The last time he played uh, with the baggy green on was the last test of the 2019 Ashes when he took a five wicket haul. A variety of things have kept him out of the side, not least Cameron Green's emergence at number six, but also one or two self inflicted problems for Mitchell Marsh along the way. He did punch a dressing room wall um, a few summers ago, which kept him out of cricket for a while uh, at a bad time. But he had a he had a tremendous impact today and it really was an innings played in the style that he plays white ball cricket. He's had a really good run for Australia's, uh, particularly the T20 side in the last few years, of course, had a key role in them winning the World Cup um, a couple of editions ago. Now feels much more at home in one-day cricket as well. And that just felt he was bringing that to the test arena today. The way he counter-attacked when Australia were in trouble, it really did switch swing the, the momentum of the game to the visitors. Also, when he got out just for T, showed how crucial his innings been because Australia then collapsed to Mark Wood's pace. He finished with a tremendous five-wicket haul. Feels like potentially a bit of a breakthrough moment for him on home soil. Most of Wood's performances that have stood out have come away from home up till now. And then Australia responding with the ball. Pat Cummins, as he so often does, making early inroads. But the day finished tantalisingly with Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow at the crease. They both dropped catches earlier in the day, so they have a little bit of making up to do in terms of the, the runs column, so to speak. And if England want to have a chance of going 2-1 in this series, you feel that they're going to have to have a massive partnership on the second day.